I'm George, and I'm currently in my second year studying criminal justice and criminology, and I'm also a recipient of the Widening Participation Scholarship. As a child, I lived in the small coastal town of Redcar. I was diagnosed with autism and attended a special needs school locally. At this time, I had severe behavioural problems and way too much energy. I like to think of my childhood as a game of two halves. For the first five years, I didn't understand the world, and for the next five, I fought against it. I fought the teachers on a daily basis. I was a very physically demanding child. Some might even say a biter. And by age six, I had learned how to barricade myself into a classroom. I was also a very emotionally demanding and confused child. So making friends with my peer group was very difficult. I just didn't feel as if I had any connection with anyone. The situation at school became desperate. They told me they couldn't cope with my behavior anymore and were going to refer me to a pupil referral unit, or PRU. This horrified both me and my parents to such an extent that they considered home educating me. And then a miracle happened in the form of Martin, a new teacher at the school who just happened to come from a PRU. He told me that I certainly didn't want to be going there and fought to keep me in the school. He told me, contrary to what I'd previously been told, that I could achieve academically. He planted the seed of aspiration and this empowered me to change behaviourally as over the space of one summer I gained a focus and desire to achieve my aspirations. Martin and my parents arranged for me to go to a nearby college to study BTEC at level 2 in health and social care along with my maths and English GCSEs. By 17 I had passed these and more with flying colours and so decided to approach the much larger sixth form college to study A-levels with a view to applying for university. This was extremely challenging considering all I had to my name was three GCSEs and one BTEC. But with a little persuasion and a lot of luck, I managed to secure my place. Sixth form was a revelation. I found it much easier to make friends and by my final year, I had been nominated to be student president, eventually leaving with two A's and a B. My family were always supportive when it came to me applying for university, but my dad's a bus driver and my mum is disabled. So even though they supported me emotionally, the financial burden was one I would have to shoulder myself. I was worried about how I would settle into Leeds and how I would support myself. The scholarship you so kindly provided for me enabled me to cope financially and took away these concerns. It allowed me to focus on making a positive start to my student life and my academia. Going further, my scholarship allowed me to pursue opportunities such as volunteering in Almond Jail. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the fact that you believed in me enough to back me financially gave me an incredible level of confidence. And for this, I am forever in your debt. In my younger years, I fought because I was angry and confused. Now, I fight to give hope and inspiration, like my teacher did, to allow others their fundamental right to education. Where you start does not have to dictate where you end up. Every limitation that is placed in front of you is just another opportunity to develop the resilience required to succeed. But every single one of you who supports the university is creating opportunities every single day for students to ignite their true potential. Thank you.